it was only about a year ago, or a little bit longer, that you were in Legally Blonde. Mm. That was your first musical. So you're so new to this, and you had a great role in that, and now you're doing Rocky Horror Show. Mm -hmm. And you're doing eight shows a week. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to you about how glamorous it is. Can you tell us the reality? <laughs> I love this. It's <laughs> super glamorous. Don't ruin it. <laughs> you do all your own makeup. Yeah. You take your own food. Mm. I just am like, what? It's Why is there no buffet? Just, it's not all about makeup and food. I no, mean, it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> life is not all about it. Well, it is. Um, I the, the whole um, the makeup thing. I actually really enjoy, and that's pr having done graphic design and majored in illustration. That was my favourite thing to do, to illustrate, to paint, to draw. Right. So that's kind of, that feels like... This is like, your canvas. Well, kind of, yeah. Totally. It's a big-ass canvas. <laughs> um, but for me, that's also, it's almost meditative to get into the zone before you go on to get into character. Costume and makeup is such a big part of it. I mean, I end up yeah. wearing this kind of big red wig and top and bottom lash. It's, it's a whole lot of... A whole lot of makeup but i really enjoy that process of yeah but yeah there's no caterers there's no no one cooking my poached fish and lemon squeeze on the side oh, but again that's um that's a part of the job you you eat breathe and and sleep and and just sort of live for the job really i cook up huge things of you know, slow cooked food and make mm. all my meals up and make sure they're meeting really well the whole time and i mean the glamour of the job is um is working in really beautiful theatres, getting yeah. to sing alongside some of the, I mean, sing alongside Lucy Durack and David Harris and Craig and the, McLaughlin. Craig McLaughlin. Have you asked heart. him to sing Mona? Does he ever no, just? But every woman that comes to the stage door, you can hear the you can hear the women panting in the front row. Really? Some of them are shameless. They literally get up. We have we've had flashes. We've had it all. They love him. Really? And for, for a good reason. He's a lovable guy. He's a really He's a beautiful, charismatic, warm, really nurturing. He's bloody funny. Yeah, he is funny. Yeah, he's, he's a lot of fun. He's still Henry from Neighbours to me, though. Like, he never been from Neighbours from Neighbours. I watch Neighbours, but I don't... Well, you travelled too much as a kid. I know. So you were moving around. So things I missed out on. You missed out on <laughs> freaking Henry. Like, that is criminal. I remember his moulet. That's what I remember. What's that? His mullet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He should bring that back. But I would think it would be... <laughs> no, <laughs> You were saying that it gets addictive because when the crowd gets into yeah. it and they're cheering you on, and I think it would be so such an incredible feeling to have this audience and you're just holding yeah. them in the palm of your hand. Someone told me when I um, when I did my gig with Legally Blonde, they said, "Oh, have you heard about Doctor Footlight?" I was like, "Oh, what's that?" And it's this this concept of you know you can be having the most shit there, you can be feeling like you're about to die, you've got the worst flu, world's against you, but as soon as you sort of step under that spotlight, then that kind of, there's this, and also as soon as the orchestra starts, there's this oh. transformative experience that goes on. But ultimately, it's about the energy that all of those people are giving you. So as totally. much as you think it's about your experience, it's so much about what's going on in the room. And when there are nights and I look down, you can see people that are beaming, like kids that are mouthing oh, yeah. every single word. And they're there with you and they're willing you on. Like they want you to have... And that's like that's, that's magic. Incredible. Well, people go to the theatre to <clears throat> disconnect, just yeah. to have a good time. So you're not. It's a pretty easy, awesome audience to mm. perform to, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, there are some nights when it's the sound of one hand clapping. There's no and it's way. Just, Does it get like that sometimes? We're like, that was so flat that show. Often it's one person in the room will be raucous, and then everybody joins in. And if no one does, then everyone just sits there yes. like this. Or it's a sometimes a matinee on Sunday is awfully quiet, and yeah. you take it personally, and people get upset and like, mm, not getting yeah. a lot of love. But really, a lot of the time, that's just people being attentive. Yeah, right. And right. at the end of it, they're the first ones on their feet, and they're yeah. clapping, whereas the raucous ones are maybe. You know, a little yeah, bit less totally. the standing ovation type because they're too much into their own thing. But it is, it's a really, in that way, it's um, a hugely rewarding job. Yeah. So there's not that many jobs that you get on it where you can go into the office on a daily basis. Some goes, oh, bloody great job. <laughs> you stand up and like, oh my God. That, that doesn't right. happen. <laughs> it would get so addictive. I'd get drunk on that power. Yeah, like, and you're like, here's that report that I just finished. <laughs> forgotten something <laughs> totally nothing will be the same Awkward everything you science, do tumbleweed <laughs> everyone will know erica needs a round of applause for everything from now which been in musical theater too yeah, i'm sure my husband's worried about that it's like when he finishes up don't expect that kind of love from yeah, me totally. because that was really ordinary <laughs>